Sam Stoza, one of the hot favourites heading into Paris. Yeah, look, just c- get, uh, coming back from obviously the Ukraine and seeing her play there. So, uh, And then obviously we've had the luxury of watching her on the TV in, in recent weeks in tournaments that she's been playing in. So definitely one of the informed players, certainly going into the French Open this year. Can you take any credit? I think a streak started in the Ukraine, didn't it? Yeah, well, I think, you know, Indian Wells, sort of the latter part of the, the hard court season, and then it flowed over into the clay court season in the US, and then she obviously came over for Fed Cup and then went to Stuttgart, got to the final there, lost to Hennen, and then did so, so well in Madrid as well, losing to Venus there. So had the week off she has in Paris this week, so just been practising, and she'll be waiting for the draw to come out to see who she plays. You've seen her from a very early age play. Yeah. What's different about her game now, particularly when you saw her a couple of weeks ago? I think confidence. She's played a heap of matches. She's got herself really, really fit. She obviously works really well with David, her coach, and um, she's just mentally got it together right now, which is great. And obviously the game as well, having such a great serve and obviously on the clay, that works really well. And then you know, really dominating with her forehand and, and things like that. So, And she plays very different to a lot of the other girls, hitting with lots of top spin and things like that. So that always, you know, mucks the girls up a little bit. So, you know, there are a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why she's, she's doing a lot better. It's taken the best to beat her in the past couple of yeah. weeks, Hennen and, and Venus Williams. Is Sam the favourite going in? Uh, oh, look, I wouldn't say she's the favourite, but she's, she's in that, that top echelon of players. Um, you know, the likes of Wozniacki, they haven't been doing that great. You've got Yelena Yankovic, who's always, you know, up there on clay. And, you know, it, it's different too once you get into a Grand Slam. I think every, all of the top players or everyone's a little bit nervous in the beginning. They want to do really well. And then once they get deep sort of into the, the second week, you sort of see the matches start really coming through. You've had that experience being in the semi and then <laughs> and then backing up the next year. Did you talk to Sam about it at all? Have you given her any advice? Oh, look, I don't think she needs any advice right now. She certainly knows what she's doing. She's, she's won a few WTA tournaments now and she's done exceptionally well in doubles. So uh, I think she's just doing fine on her own regarding in, in big match situations. She knows what she's got to do and, and then she just has to um, execute it into her matches. And with some of the younger girls you're working with, like Belinda, what does it do to have someone like Sam, such a great role model, in the top yeah. ten now and doing so well? Oh, look, it's fantastic and it creates such a great interest for, for the girls. And, you know, we've, we've actually had a lot of girls that have actually done well on clay. So, um, you know, that's a huge plus. So uh, um, it's great for these young girls to have someone from their own country to, to aspire to, whether they, they don't necessarily, they might play like her, but... Um, it's great to, it feeds off for the younger players coming through. Excellent. Well, all the best for Sam, I suppose. Yeah, go, go Sam. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole.